G'day everyone, Pete and Veronica from PV Media, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's been an interesting week and it's been an interesting couple of weeks actually. <laughs> uh, you would have seen last week, it took, takes me about a week to do the editing and that of one of these videos that I put up. Um, that's because I've got a whole bunch of other things to do as well and I'm working on more than one project at a time. Veronica's trying to stop my hands from going, but I've got to talk with my hands, I'm sorry, that's just the way that I'm going. <laughs> So, anyway, yeah, the problem that we've had is after the ride that we took uh, on the Friday, or well, the Monday following that, it's two weeks, two weeks ago, um, our daughter was down here for uh, a concert and they stopped in to say good day and um, they wanted to take a few shots of Veronica um, on her trike, on her recumbent dilona. Before that, I brought the trike out for them to have a try of it. I said to them, you know, this is what we got your mother and um, uh, Brett is, the, is uh, Candace's husband. And I said, you know, Brett, come and have a ride. And uh, so Candace also wanted to have a bit of a ride and I wanted to, to ride. And so they zipped around the neighborhood a little bit on the uh, trike and they absolutely loved it. So they could get a feeling for what we were trying to do and why this was so important to Veronica. <laughs> And uh, anyway, uh, Candice uh, suggested that um, mum sit on the trike so that she can take a photo or two. Well, and then... the story changes a lot uh, from this point on. Um, Veronica is there with no gear on, um, she's barefoot, and she gets on the trike. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's looking after her, so, I, so I'm looking at the bare feet getting on the trike, and I'm thinking, well, she's not going to be pedaling, so that'll be okay. Besides, the, the pedals are designed in such a way that they've got little grips on them, you know, so that would hurt her feet. So she's, she's going to be fully aware that she's not wearing shoes, mm -hmm. uh, never mind clipless. So I don't know why they call them clipless because they actually have clips on them. Mm -hmm. So they clip in to the, the shoe. to the shoe so that uh, it can, you have to twist your foot in order to unclip them. It's to protect Veronica uh, and myself. I'm, I do it as well because if your foot slips off that thing, and falls down, you can actually run over your own foot and you can do a, a real lot of damage to it. Now I've got a, a young brother who lost uh, a leg, a lower leg, um, due to an ankle break that couldn't heal, it wouldn't heal. And so I don't want Veronica in that situation, I don't want myself in that situation. So we wear the safety gear, you know, we wear the high vis and the whole shooting match. She had none of that on. So there was no plan for Veronica to do any riding whatsoever. But, huh. 10 seconds in it and off she went, <laughs> pedaling off down the road. And I'm going, what the heck? And um, so Candace is following after her. I race up to grab my uh, my trike, and so, because it was still in the garage, um, so that I could chase after her, my trike or my bike, doesn't matter which. <laughs> so anyway, I get it out and I come, and Veronica by now has gone around the bend, and uh, and it's a steep downhill. So I'm thinking, this is, this is really bad. So anyway, <laughs> I shoot out. Um, after her and as I'm going past Candace I said where did she go and Candace said oh she went down the bottom and so and out of sight so I naturally think she's talking about the bottom of the road where there's a sharp left hand bend and she's gone down there and she may have stacked it there so that's what I've got in my mind's eye and I'm racing after her down there thinking that's where she stacked me while she stacked right up at the top and stack it she did um, and she's panicked She's been fiddling with the gears, uh, um, going downhill, don't fiddle with the gears, use the brakes, but Veronica is new to this, so it's going to take a little while for it to sink in and for her to, she's never ridden anything in her life, you know, so it's, it's time. I'm not a driver. She's not a driver, she's not a, a rider, she, she couldn't ride two wheels. Yes, she knows the road rules and that sort of thing, because she's been a pedestrian for a while and she's been a passenger in the car when I'm driving. I love it because um, going down, so anyway, next thing was to do like a black um, vehicle um, yeah, on the side of the road and, and I didn't know what to do. I, I thought maybe there might be a car coming. She so I've had it and that's when I sort of what did you do? went into, a, uh, into somebody's driveway and as I did it, I put my foot down on the uh, driveway to stop herself. To stop myself and uh, 
caused a bit of damage. So she took off the, the pad on the heel, stripped it right back to the flesh. So that entire pad is gone. So it's a piece about that size that, that went. We changed the dressing every four days. So we, she has been in, had, a look, had it looked at by doctors um, to ensure that I'm dressing it correctly and, and I'm doing a good job of that, they, they tell me. Anyway, uh, well, I was, um, in, at that time, that was on Monday afternoon, and uh, Friday, uh, I had to go in to have a, a couple of tunnel done on my hand. And, uh, yeah, it's got a pressure bandage on at the moment yeah. because it's a bit swollen. Mm -hmm. so. And uh, so I, um, I asked him, you know, would they mind just having a look at my foot? Well, I was under anaesthetic because I am not going to let anybody touch it. This is so, so sore and very, very, you know, about the um, yeah, it was terrible. Color. We had to actually cut, my daughter actually did that. She washed it and cut the uh, surplus skin off. Yeah. And I would have done it, but uh, no, Candace she had, had and she wanted to do it. So I, I left them to it she and I'll look after job. it afterwards. And she did a really good job, you know. So, and I was very pleased with the, the way she looked after her mum. Yeah, very proud of her for that. Yeah, so uh, anyway. Brett looked after the trike. He brought the trike back. <laughs> Veronica was seen dragging it up the road when I came back. Now I'd raced all over this neighbourhood. I nearly killed myself. <laughs> Racing all over the neighbourhood looking for her because I didn't go back down that same stretch of road. She wasn't there. I thought maybe she's taken off but she's gone somewhere else. Uh, and, she, and he passed me. Yeah, I passed her. And, um, but she doesn't yell out to me. Too much in shock, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, and trying to look after herself, get the trike up there. She's feeling very guilty about leaving blood all over somebody's driveway, so she uh, wants oh. to get scarper, <laughs> which she did. <laughs> uh, I did break and turn the uh, my recumbent around quickly and pulled it up a bit. She, she's walked. dragged it up the street with both front tyres locked because the mud guard said, this impact put bruises all over her legs. She's very lucky it could have been far, far worse, you know. Yeah, it's healing beautifully, it really is. Because she has CP, she has difficulty with balance as it is, so this is making the balance almost impossible. Fortunately, we have a walker for her. We got that a while ago when her balance started to go. Um, Veronica's always had balance issues, but they haven't been serious um, until uh, until we've been moved into this house, mm. so it's been about three years. Um, it's been progressively getting worse. Um, well, I can still walk around. But she can still walk around and get around, you know. Yeah, it's just she needs a bit of a steadying hand from time to time. But but with this foot the way that it is, she needs the walker or she needs me. There not so much today. It's two weeks on, um, so she's much better now. Mm. But she still needs that reassurance of somebody close by. Um, so when we go out, she's too embarrassed to take a walker with her, so I'm the walker. <laughs> uh, honestly, I tell you, yeah, getting around was a, a mission, so, um, mm, so, so yeah, she, can't, she couldn't hold the, the handlebars of the walker, so she's leaning on it with, with the elbow on one hand, holding onto the other, you know, and, and well, uh, yeah, and it, and, it, and it has a mind of its own too, it wanders all over the place. So. <laughs> So it was, it, it's been an interesting couple of weeks and we just wanted to I include you in that, you know. This is the reality of life. This happens. It happens to everybody, you know. We all have our problems. And so we wanted to share this with you as well. So Veronica had to stay home on Friday. When Friday afternoon I went for a ride with Gary and Georgia. They invited me to go for a ride um, to, to Nanda Beach. And of course I took Veronica's recumbent. Um, so I took Alona. I wanted to make my excuses. I wanted to make sure that she hadn't broken anything, you know, so I took it out for a good run. Um, some of this is going to go onto our Patreon page. I haven't completed that. Well, the page is ready. I just haven't posted anything. I'm about to post it. Now, once, as soon as I do that, I'll start putting links up in our videos as well. For those who wish to be a patron and support us, it just helps us replace some of this and it would be much appreciated then go to the Patreon page, or I've also got a link there for our PayPal account if somebody wants to buy us a cup of coffee or um, share us a drink or anything like that, you know. Listen, if you, if you like what you see, then please hit the like, hit the share button, share it with everybody, whether you like it or not, you know, share it, get it out there. So people, you never know, there are a lot of people in the same situations as us, you know, that 
they have heart attack issues and CM disease and uh, they're getting older as we're getting older. We're on the wrong side of 60. And the idea is that there are, I know that there are a lot of people who have the same sort of problems we have, some worse, some not so bad, but to show you that you can overcome them, you know? This is, this is how we do it, and we hope that we'll inspire other people to get out and about and enjoy life. Um, none of us know how much time we've got, so all we do know is that the clock is ticking down, you know? So time is expiring. Very quickly. Very quickly. And one day, I mean, it's going to be gone. Um, but, you know, that's life. I've got um... The big issue at the moment is Veronica's throat. Um, she is having a lot of difficulty swallowing, so we puree a lot of the food for her. Not all of it, but we do a lot of that to cut down on the choking, uh, because that's what happens. Uh, the muscles don't work the way that she wants them to, and so she sometimes loses her voice. That's why she doesn't speak as much as I would like her to, and I, I speak for her a lot. And, and it's something that I'm used to doing, I've been doing it for years. Mm. And, uh, and sometimes she gets frustrated with it, you know, which I can understand. She wants to speak for herself and I don't know when to shut up. <laughs> oh, I was saying <laughs> The looks at it all. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's time to go. Okay. You take it easy. Yep. And we'll see you next week. And God bless you all. Yes. Bye.